Welcome back, everybody. This is your girl, Heaven Sent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this reading is for March 3rd, 2018. Y'all remember this reading is general, and it's not finna resonate with everybody. All right, let's get right into it. Now, the main focus of the day, we got the Page of Swords. Okay, so the focus of the day for everybody is like... It's about speaking the truth. Somebody may come to you with some type of information. It could be difficult to hear, but it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like somewhere somebody could be watching you, gathering information for a majority. For some, it's like while somebody is gathering information, they may be trying to use that shit against you. Like negative, you know what I'm saying? Like stalker at his lowest point, okay? Like, somebody could be speaking and it's like, you just not getting, like, the truth out of their mouth. It's like, they going around in circles and shit for some. Majority, you could be the speaking the truth or somebody is coming to you with the truth. Facts. Um, just a conversation that, that's just directly to the point. Alright? Let's keep moving y'all right to this reading. Now, the overall energy is the two of swords. Okay, so the overall energy is a person just not seeing the shit for what it is. They're refusing to see something. Okay, it's like she's standing at the door, can't make a goddamn decision. Like, damn, should I leave the baby on the porch or should I bring it in? It's like, come on now, you refusing to see the truth of what's really the fuck going on. Yes, grab the motherfucking baby bitch and bring it in the house. It's raining. What the fuck is you doing? I clarified that. And I get the page of wands. Okay, so this is about looking towards the future and knowing, like, knowing what to do next. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just go for what you want. Like, go for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I clarify that I got the seven of swords. Like, somewhere somebody can't make a decision or just don't know what to do because they may not trust a person with the seven of swords like somebody may feel like somebody is trying to get away with something they trying to do shit behind a person back you know what i'm saying like they don't want to let them in you know what i'm saying they house is, and they, they're afraid of what's coming next you know what i'm saying not even knowing that a motherfucker got a gift for their ass but they probably like damn i don't know this motherfucker may try to rob my ass you know now I went deep on that seven of swords and I get the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like whoever, if they is doing like some sneaky shit or being deceptive or lying or just whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like a pathological liar. They ain't even got to be cheating. They could just be like lying just to be lying. It's like with that seven of pentacles in the reverse, it's like, it's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a waste of energy. Like you is not getting nowhere dealing with that. If a motherfucker is, if you the person that's lying or some shit. I cliff at that and I get the six of swords in the reverse. Like, it's just not taking a person nowhere. Like, it's moving everything backwards. Or this is a situation where you're not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But your patience has ran out dealing with that lying bullshit. Okay? So, like, with that page of swords here, somebody may communicate something with the truth. Facts. Like, somebody is, like, talking directly. Like, no chaser type shit. I went deep on that page of wands and I get the Knight of Cups. Like, somewhere somebody is coming through with an offer. Like, somebody could be in love. Somebody could have been watching a person from afar. And all of a sudden, they want to offer that themselves to somebody. Like, they looking towards the future or some shit like that. I clarify that and I get the Ace of Pentacles. So, they definitely coming through with an offer that's serious. Something with a long-term commitment. Well, something that can grow into a long-term commitment. Something you can touch. You know what I'm saying? Like, a key to a motherfucker crib. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. I clear for the two of swords and I get the seven of cups. So, it's like a person just can't make a decision. They don't know what to do because they delusional right now. Like, they stuck in some fairy tale land. Like, they can't make no decision. Motherfuckers is confused. I clarify that and I get the eight of wands. It's like they so goddamn confused. It's like they don't know which key to pick. Like it's like, damn, there's so many of these motherfucking keys. Like I can't make a goddamn decision. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's communication back and forth, things is maybe changing too fast. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with some type of commitment. All right. Now, the foundation is the Ten of Pentacles. So the foundation is something long term. Like somewhere somebody could have could be in a long term commitment for financial reasons only. 
I clarified that and I get the devil reverse. So definitely it's like somebody recognized some devil energy where a person was getting used and abused and feel like they didn't have no control over something dealing with some type of long-term commitment. Like a person could be dealing with a person they've known for a very long time, but it's like, it's, is money involved. I clarify that and I get the king of wands in the reverse. So this, I mean, the king of wands. So this could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, where it's something with some type of long-term commitment type of shit where they like, it's like a house and then the kids get their own fucking house. You know what I'm saying? I went deep on that 10 of pentacles and I get the six of cups reverse. So definitely this is something from the past. Okay. Well, something got built up. You know what I'm saying? Through time, over time and shit. But it wasn't nothing happy. It was, could have been just more focused on money. You know what I'm saying? Now, where this is coming from? This is coming from the Seven of Wands. Reverse. So this is coming from a person like getting walked all over. Disrespect. A motherfucker just not setting up boundaries. Let a motherfucker do whatever the fuck they want to. That's where this is coming from. This is also coming from the fool. This is also coming from a motherfucker just took a risk somewhere. That's where this shit is coming from. And it's like now it's something with a long, like somewhere it's a commitment, like a, like a long term commitment is here. That's at the foundation. Like, I feel like that shit ain't going no motherfucking well, even though it's like some devil shit where it's just, it's like, damn, like you recognize some shit within a foundation, like something you was not happy in, even though it's money involved. If this shit is making sense, let's keep it moving. The situation is the moon. So the situation is like things hidden things in the dark. I clarify that to get the ace of swords reverse. It's like a person could be lying. They just not getting the truth. They confused. They don't really know what's the issue. Like a person could not know it's a 10 of pentacles at this foundation. Cause what's crossing that is the 10 of cups. So I feel like this is a whole nother relationship. I feel like that because it's about the moon. Like this is secret. Like this is a secret, happy relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? I clarify that I got the Knight of Wands. This could be something dealing with a fire sign. It was the old Sagittarius. Or within this happy relationship, it's like an energy that's refreshing. Like, it's it's full of life. Like, with this Ten of Cups here, it's a lot of passion, a lot of energy dealing with this Ten of Cups. But it could be like a secret relationship. Like... It's like lies involved. A person may not really know the truth. They may like, you know what I'm saying? They may, they may know it, but they, somebody could be lying to themselves. Like, but it's a foundation here. It's something long-term at the foundation. I feel like, I feel like a person is like, they confused. They don't know which way to go, but it's like, you got something built up already. But then you happy in secret. You know what I'm saying? If this shit is making sense, what's crowning this is the page of ones. I mean, is the page of swords again. So somebody watching. That's what's crowning this. Be careful. Somebody could be watching you in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Just watch your back dealing with this shit. How you looking at it? You looking at like the six of wands. So you looking at it like victory and success. You looking at it like, okay, status. Like I'm, I'm the shit. That's how you looking at it. What's influencing this is judgment. Okay. A final decision has been made or needs to be made. Okay. Like somebody got straight kicked down with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit. It's like, which way you finna go? Like, is you finna go down there or you finna go up? <laughs> What's uh, hope and fear is the night of pinnacles. So you could be hoping like somebody coming through with a commitment. Somebody that's serious. You know what I'm saying? About somebody or something. Okay. As this play out, you get the queen of wands. So that's about a person confident. You know what I'm saying? They looking good, smelling good. They going after what they want. They don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. I clarify that you got the two of cups. So this is definitely something dealing with a relationship, a soulmate connection, love at first sight, 
two people filling each other, exchanging gifts. Like, them motherfuckers is in love, and that's what this shit is. I clarify, they got the Eight of Pentacles, so they could work together. You know what I'm saying? With the Eight of Pentacles, or it's like, it's just been a lot of hard work and effort put into this relationship. I clarify, that you got the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like, this relationship make a person feel lighter. Like, dealing with this connection is like, you don't have to carry everything. Like, this would not be a burden on you if this shit is making sense. After this, you get the Five of Cups reversed, so you're not disappointed. Like, that past shit, you're not even thinking about it. I clarify that I got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, you getting, like, you, somebody is coming out of the cold, like... It's like no worries. You know what I'm saying? I clarify that I got the Ten of Swords. So a major ending has happened. Dylan probably dealing with that. Coming out of the cold. Um, maybe needing help financially. Like that shit could be over with. Like it's time for like something. Like it's things is going into a whole nother direction. Cause what was I clarify that you got the wheel. So this is destiny right here. Things changing for the better. You know what I'm saying? Not only they changing, but but you loving the change. What was at the bottom of the deck was the hair for in the reverse. Like, I don't know if this change caused some type of divorce. You know what I'm saying? Like, a motherfucker was like, a person may have chose love over like finances and like, you know what I'm saying? This may have caused a divorce with this change. Um... It just may be two different people going to two different different directions, but it's like it's coming together. Like a person, they having different beliefs, so that may change within a relationship. Like a person is like, okay, you know what? Let's compromise type shit. Or it's like you just not taking it serious right now. Okay, that may finna change. Like you may all of a sudden take that shit serious. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all, just look out for the truth or you speaking the truth. Just know some type of information is finna come in directly and straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna sugarcoat none of that shit today. All right? Thumbs up. If you'd like to donate, it's all good. Send from heaven, 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.